Okie dokie, so it looks like we have a fun projectile motion problem to solve. So first thing again, we always do for all problems is draw a picture, or first read it, then draw a picture. So you can go ahead and read it as I go ahead and draw a picture. Let's see, so we have a good old cliff that is eight meters tall. Um, let's see, we have Anthony, and we'll draw a little Anthony. Um, great. And he decides to kick a soccer ball at 12 meters per second at 25 degree angle to the horizontal. Cool. So we got our picture. I'm going to go ahead and draw kind of what the motion of this would be. Cool. So it goes from there to there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just indicate a couple points that I might want to go and think about later. So this is, let's call that point one. We have point two. I'm going to call that point three. And that is going to be the same level as where it was launched from. So point one and point three both have an elevation of eight meters above the ground. And then we have good old point four. Cool. So for A, it asks us to find the speed of the ball at its highest point. Okay. So, oh, excuse me, before I even get to that, I need to draw my coordinate system. So, okay, let's say the y direction is upwards direction, um, and the upwards direction is positive, so y is vertical, upwards positive. This direction is the x direction, the horizontal direction, and to the right is positive. So, after I draw my coordinate system, I have to look, do I have any velocities that are not just x direction, just y direction, or both? But both. Well, it looks like it. I have this 12 meters per second at a 25 degree angle. So first thing you always need to do is break vectors into their x and y components. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So it looks like we have, let's see, this is the x velocity, initial x velocity, which is going to be what? That's 12 cosine of 25 degrees. When I do my SOCA TOA, and that is going to be 10.88 meters per second. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the y direction, so vy, so the initial velocity is 12 sine of 25 degrees when I do my SOCA TOA, and that is going to be 5.07 meters per second. Cool. So again, for A, we want to find the speed of the ball at its highest point. So at its highest point, okay, it's at its highest point, so we know the y velocity is at zero at the highest point. That's like the turning point. Um, where the object switches from going upwards vertically to downwards vertically. So, okay, y velocity is zero. X velocity. So what forces are acting on moving in the air? Only gravity. Gravity acts in the y direction. There's nothing acting in the x direction to speed it up or slow it down. So the x velocity is still 10.88 meters per second. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that down as vx is still 10.88 meters per second. Cool. So if we look at this, we have no y velocity, we only have x. The speed of the ball at the highest point is just going to be 10.88 meters per second. So that'll be our answer to A. Okay, so now we want to find the speed of the ball with instant before it hits the ground. Okay, so that looks like that's point 0.4. So do we think it's going to be going faster or slower than 12 meters per second? Okay, let me think about that. Well, that point 0.3, it's going to go 12 meters per second because that's the same elevation above the ground. Point four, it's got to go faster. Like if you jump off something, you're going to be faster when you hit the ground. And again, we're looking at the speed the instant before it hits the ground, not after it hits the ground, the instant before it hits the ground. So definitely faster than 12. So let me go ahead and draw on my little picture. So we want to find the speed. It says speed, so it always means total speed, not just x speed just, or just y speed, total speed. Okay, so we want to find this. We're going to need to find the good old x speed and the good old y speed. Well, x speed we already talked about. Only forces acting on are in the vertical direction, so the x speed always is the same. So that x speed is going to be 10.88 meters per second. Okay, y speed, let's go ahead and find that. So let's go ahead and set up our good old x and y table. So y we have what? C i, B f, a, delta x, delta t, and x we have speed, distance, and time. 
And again, there's multiple ways we can do it, but we're looking from point one, from the highlight in yellow, to point four. So we're just looking from that point to that point. So let's see, we have VI in the Y direction. It's initially going 5.07 meters per second. VF, we don't know that. Keep in mind, we cannot say zero meters per second because we're looking at it before it hits the ground, the instant before. So, oh, and that's what we're trying to find anyway. So I'll put question mark, acceleration, always negative 10 meters per second squared. Or if it's a problem with variables, negative two. Displacement is, is it going up or down eight meters? Down. So displacement is negative eight meters. Cool. X direction, I'll just fill it out just for fun. Speed is 10.88. It doesn't look like we know how far it goes in the X direction. Time, we don't know. Okay. Let's look at the good old Y and see what we can solve. So I'll pick a constant acceleration equation. Ooh, this one looks fun. VF squared equals VI squared plus 2A delta X. So VF we want to find, VI is what, 5.07 squared plus 2 times negative 10 times negative 8. Okay, I do some good old number crunching, and I get VF squared to be 185.7 meters per second. Okay, so now I need to take the square root. When I take the square root of something, what happens? Oh, good old plus or minus. So let's go ahead and take the square root. So VF equals plus or minus square root of 185.7, which is plus or minus 13.63 meters per second. So now let's think about what makes sense in this problem. Is the object going upwards 13.63 meters per second or downwards? It looks like downwards. So I'm going to choose the negative. So it is going to be negative 13.63 meters per second. Cool. So now I can just go ahead and put that back in my problem. So I have VY is what? Negative 13.63 meters per second. So I have the Y, I have the X, I want to find the total. This is the little right angle between the X and Y. This looks like the good old Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to use A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So this is what? VX squared plus VY squared equals speed squared total. So VX squared is what? 10.88 squared plus negative 3.63 squared. Keep in mind when we square a negative, that becomes a positive and equals speed squared. I go ahead and do the math. We only care about speed, so it has to be like the magnitude, the positive quantity. So the speed turns out to be, I got 17.4 meters per second. Great. So that is our answer to B. Cool. So now, okay, we want to find the last little part of this. Let's do a different color is C. We want to find how far on the base of the cliff does the ball land. So that looks like that is the distance in the X direction. So that is our horizontal direction. So I'm going to go ahead and put my question mark right there. Okay, we're going to have to find time. Okay, I look at all this stuff in the Y direction. We have a lot of stuff. I'm going to pick the easiest equation. Multiple equations for work. Always pick the easiest one. Um, I am going to use the VF equals VI plus A times delta T. Cool. So VF, keep in mind, was negative 13.63. VI, 5.07 plus acceleration is what? Negative 10 times delta T. Cool. Um, we go ahead and do some math. And I get... 1.86 seconds, and I was really careful with my signs to just keep it all, make sure with my negatives and stuff like that, I'm not doing any silly mistakes. Cool. And again, that was the time from point 0.1 to point 0.4 because thir negative 13.63 meters per second is the final velocity in the y direction at point 0.4. So we can just plug that into the app. So that is 1.86 seconds. So now we can just use speed equals distance over time. So speed is 10.88, distance we want to find over 1.86, and we get distance to be 20.24 meters. Wow, that was fun. Cool. Now that is our answer to speed.